I'm Josh from EG4 Electronics. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the new LifePower 4 automatic updater. We have created this automatic updater to update the 52 volt LifePower 4 battery with uh, no need for a laptop or desktop computer. And it is very important to update the LifePower 4 battery due to having added many safety features and quality of life improvements. To start, we're going to begin by powering off all LifePower 4 batteries. Next, we're going to begin by removing all patch communication cables. We now need to set all dip switches to ID0. The LifePower 4 automatic updater can be powered by a laptop, a desktop, a portable power bank, or any 5 volt USB source. In this video, we will be using a portable power bank. So you'll begin by plugging in the USB C to a USB A, or you can power the device on using the USB A male part on the updater. Next, Take one of the patch communication cables and plug it into the RJ45 port on the automatic updater. Next, we're going to power on only one battery at a time. And we're going to wait for the boot sequence to finish. After the boot sequence has finished, plug the patch cable into either RS45 port of the battery. Hold or place the automatic updater in a secure location and we're going to press the chrome button for three seconds and release. Our second green LED will begin blinking, indicating that we are currently updating and all lights will turn on on the LifePower 4 battery. This will take 60 seconds to update. So we can see the update has finished. The LifePower 4 battery has restarted. Let's wait an additional 10 seconds to unplug our updating device. You can repeat this process to update every LifePower 4 battery. I am now going to demonstrate what will happen if the cable is removed or power is removed from the automatic updater. I'm going to plug into the RS-485 port and now we are going to update our second battery. So power has now been lost from our updater. We are now in a failed update state also known as a soft brick. We know for sure this has occurred if I power off the battery and power the battery back on and all LEDs are in a solid on state. Now this is easily fixable by powering back on the automatic updater. Getting our updater in a three solid LED state and plugging back in our updater to the RS-45 port. Now we're gonna do the same steps over again. We're gonna begin by holding for three seconds and releasing. We can see our second green LED has begun blinking, indicating we are currently updating the battery. And a update from a soft brick state will take two minutes. Now that the update has finished, we can see that we have now reset our boot sequence and we have now unbricked the LifePower 4 battery. We'll wait an additional 10 seconds to remove the device. If you have any additional questions, reach out to the EG4 technical support team. I'm Josh with EG4 and thanks for watching.